trying to hold the camera, but I'm going the road now, flipping a little bit. If I have to give a little more strength, I'll lose it one more time. pressure on the rope, which is the whole purpose, and over there is a log coming up, you can see it or not, and as soon as I let loose of the rope, it basically stops pulling until, until I pull here again. backwards here. As long as I keep pulling on the rope, here comes the log. So it's not coming quite as fast as I'd like, but uh, it looks like it's going to take the load. This log weighs almost 100 pounds. So I'm pulling it with just pulling the one hand here, just just pulling just enough to keep the line tight. So I'm I'm hardly holding it, and the captain is doing all the work. And once again, once I let loose, then it'll stop. Then I get over here and pull again. If I have to, I can pick this, cut this out, which is my original plan was to take this out here so I can get a larger pipe. I could actually go up to six inches if I want to stage it, and that'll pick up twice as much because it's three and a half now. If I go to a six inch, that's six and a half inches. So I'll pick up a lot of speed. I got to, I see I got to adjust this a little bit back because it's just hitting that plastic but the reason I want that to sit tight in there is so the rope won't get caught you know it's sitting right up against the the drum right now and uh, so the rope does not get caught in there and fray the rope it'll it'll push it over far enough and like I say I tried that with one eighth inch one eighth inch uh, maybe it's three sixteenths here my first pull was a brick with this here and it worked just fine so there there we have it and uh, we'll be taking it out next week sometime I'm going to make a cover here to protect us from this I made uh, had to make my own uh, belt tensioner here to keep the tension on the belt in case it stretches a little bit just to keep that working and then uh, I'm going to go over to Brother Webster's. This handle that's here drops down. We can take it off, but I'm going to put a kink in it here. It's easier to move it around. And uh, so that'll be probably Saturday. And then I got, like, say, the two wheels underneath. I gave it a coat of primer and then some of this here yellow paint just to to make it look a little better and keep it from rusting. So uh, I think we're. I think we're okay. I, I think it's uh, working just like it planned. And again, this here is adjustable a little bit if I need to go to bigger ones. Um, I, I don't have the slots going this way. 
because uh, I'm going to try this out. But if I have to get bigger, I just slot this out a little bit more. And uh, but it seems to be working fine. All right, son. We'll talk to you later. Bye.